This video is a short demonstration of Innovasys Document X integration with Visual Studio 2010. Uh, Document X is a documentation and help authoring product and one of the features um, that it supports is the documentation of .NET assemblies and one of the, the functionalities of .NET that that leverages is the XML comments feature that you're probably familiar with when you're working in um, source code you can add XML comments and those can flow through to your documentation. Well what um, Document X kind of brings to the party in Visual Studio is a visual comment editor that allows you to work with your XML format source comments in a friendly uh, WYSIWYG environment. Um, so I've loaded up a code file here that already has some XML format source comments so we can demonstrate how those are used in the WYSIWYG environment but we'll also see how new content can be created and written back as XML format source comments going to open up the document x visual comment editor for this source code file I'm going to create a split so we can see what's going along going on alongside the code so if i select one of the methods of this class in the tree on my left here let's drag that make a bit more room i can see the existing uh content if I scroll down a little bit here i can see the existing xml source code comments have been brought in and are showing up in my editor here and that includes both the textual content, the summary and the parameter summaries but also things like um, uh, examples, example code appears in the environment here too. So I'm just going to demonstrate, change, I'll perhaps change the description that we've got against this method here let's call it something simple and what we can see is when I click back to the source code editor you can see that comment is written back uh, and we can see that the content is always written back in the standard Visual Studio XML source comment format. So you're creating standard XML comments, but you're working in a WYSIWYG environment with all the benefits that that brings along with it. So as well as working with just the textual content, um, which includes features you'd be familiar with in Word and other rich authoring environments, you know, bold, underline and italic, but also a rich set of CSS based style support. So if you've got style sheets you want to leverage in your content you can do that easily directly from from the editor here. Um, beyond just the textual content we provide a bunch of uh, additional designers that make it easy for you to work with more complicated XML comment types. So I'm going to create an exception here to identify that this method can throw a particular exception at it arguments. We can see that appears in a sort of standard format table with the exception and the description and I can go back and edit that at any time. So we provide a bunch of these different designers to help you create the complex XML comment types. Um, example, see also links, uh, permissions, exceptions, so on and so forth. And these are all written back, if I just go back to the source view here, as standard C sharp, VB.net, C++, XML format source comments uh, ready to be written out with your assembly uh, when it's compiled. So just one more thing to demonstrate if you're uh, creating documentation for your assemblies particularly for an ISV and you want to ship your documentation for both VS 2010 and 2008 that poses some particular challenges with different output formats. Well Document X supports both of those output formats um, and moreover it allows you to work with both of the different output formats within the visual editor here. So this is the 2010 style um, page layout with the tab strip for the syntax section, um, the mini talk on the left, so on and so forth. But I can also just switch quickly to working. I set up my project with both outputs and I can switch to working in the, to the original 2008 format. So again I can preview exactly how my documentation page is going to appear in both outputs before committing my source code comments um, and producing an output. Okay, so that concludes this short demo on DocumentX integration with Visual Studio 2010.